Welcome everyone, my name is Dustin, and in this video I'll be talking about knowledge graphs, uh, how they are connected to large language models, and we'll show you how you can deploy Cogni on multiple instances in the cloud. If you're not familiar with Cogni, it's an open source AI memory engine designed to act as a unified layer between your data and your AI agent. And basically it provides contextually aware responses, helping you get the most out of your data while boosting your productivity. If you want to learn more, you can check it out on GitHub, it's open source. So you are free to explore the entire implementation yourself. And if you find it useful, uh, we would just love if you would give us a star. But before we get into details, I would also like to invite you to join our community. Uh, whether you just want to grab an online coffee with us or just chat about AI in general, uh, head over to cogni.ai and you can click the join community button to access our discord channel but let's get into today's topic and talk about graphs graphs are fun structures that can help us to describe and express complex relationships between objects they are connected somehow with edges let's say this is connected to this one this is connected to this one this to this one and here we have one additional edge let's say they can be companies and we can say companies are connected if they worked together in the past or let's take another example where the nodes are people and they are connected with edges if they know each other or they met in person. But you can ask, why is this useful? Well, these nodes can represent anything you want from the real life. Uh, graphs have many different types and it's a pretty flexible structure to start with when we want to represent a so-called connection structure between objects. But why are we talking about graphs at all and how they are connected to the topic of AI? I love the TV show Office, so I would just have one that describes the connection between the main characters of the show and the company they work at. Okay, so our sentence is the following. Jim likes spam and they both work at Dunder Mifflin. This sentence obviously represents some knowledge that we can somehow describe so I can create a structure called a knowledge graph by extracting entities from the sentence and representing their connections as edges. Let's say Jim, Pam, and Dunder Mifflin are an entities. So let's create the three nodes, Jim, Pam, and Dunder Mifflin. And Jim likes Pam, so they are connected. And Jim and them, they both work at Dunder Mifflin. And at this point, I can also add some additional information. They are both uh, humans, and Dunder Mifflin is a company that focuses on a paper. And let's say I want to ask a question, and I'm interested in the company itself. So my question would be something like, what company are they working at? Um, in this case, the information we need from the graph is localized around the company. So Dunder Mifflin is a company and it focuses on paper. Um, so the answer would be something like they are working at a paper company based on the knowledge. On the other hand, if we are interested in their relationship, uh, so something like how Pam and uh, Jim are related, then the structure that I would need from the knowledge base would be this. Jim likes spam, which is the answer already on its own. So if you have an AI memory, um, you can build these structures using your personal data and help the LLM to provide uh, context-aware uh, answers to your questions. And Cogni does exactly that for you. So let's see how we can deploy multiple Cogni instances on a model. If you don't know what a model is, it's an AI infrastructure where you can host your own applications and parallelize multiple computationally intensive tasks. It's pretty cool because it's uh, free up to $30 per month and it's relatively easy to set up. For the model deployment, we have a separate container which defines our dependencies. And if you can see here, it moves the necessary modules onto the containers. Then we have a model deployment in our root directory, this one, it's model deployment.pi, uh, um, where we basically define our app. We define how our container uh, looks like, 
And then this will be the entry point. So the function that will be executed on uh, each of the containers. Uh, it takes two parameters. The first one is the image. The second parameter defines how many containers uh, do we want to run. Uh, in this case, we have 10 containers. And basically, this entry function will execute Cogni. So first of all, we prune the database. Then we add the text, which is a parameter as uh, a document to the system. And then using the Cognify, we build the knowledge graph, uh, similarly how I explained before. And then as the last step, we basically use the search function of the Cogni with the graph completion option. And we just return uh, the results as a list of dictionaries where we will have the text, we will have the query, and we will have the answer. Um, the entry point, I mean the local entry point uh, of this application is this one. So basically, we just define a list of uh, texts. Let's say this is the first one. NASA's Artemis programs aims to return humans to the moon by 2026, focusing on sustainable exploration and preparing for future Mars missions. And the query, uh, so the question we are asking about this text, when does NASA plan to return humans to the moon under the Artemis program. But as you can see here, we have a bunch of uh, texts and corresponding questions. And what we do, we just uh, define the tasks. Uh, each text query pair will be one task. So each container will build own relational database, its own uh, graph database. We'll do the retrieval and we'll do the generation of the answer. Uh, and we can basically run the whole pipeline in a way that we open the terminal and we say model run minus D is the detached uh, mode. So if we close this terminal window, uh, the execution will not be stopped. And then we just say we want to execute the model deployment.pi. Uh, if you do this for the first time, it will take roughly two, three minutes to build your uh, Docker container. But I think we have now built, you can see here the number of containers. And if you open this, then online, uh, you can also see the state of the containers. So we are pending. We have already two containers running. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six containers running. And we should finish the execution in like uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So since we have relatively simple uh, texts, like three already uh, succeeded. And so I just wanted to say, so since we have relatively simple texts, so corpus, uh, it doesn't take too much time to build the knowledge graphs uh, in each of these instances. But if we go back to PyCharm, we already have the results. So let's check the first one. As you can see, here is our text. This was the query. And our answer is that, uh, I mean, based on the text, that NASA plans to return humans to the moon under the Artemis program by 2026. So we exactly managed to get the correct answer. I mean, it's just a small and simple example, but what you would do in a production environment is that you would host your relational and graph database, build your knowledge graph, basically your corpus, and would distribute question answering on multiple model containers. So again, it's just a simple example to showcase how parallelization and Cogni deployment uh, at scale can be done. And just feel free to play around with Cogni and uh, create your own personalized knowledge graphs. And just reach us out if you have any questions.